So, Jets mock drafts have been very popular recently. And with many Darnold sympathizers, you know, everyone wants us to either trade back or they want us to draft a really good player at Oregon, Panay Sewell, at number two. And I do not like this pick. And in this video, I'm going to describe why. So for a bit of context, Panay Sewell is a left tackle out of Oregon. And so immediately off of the bat... You're like, left tackle. Oh, we drafted a left tackle last year in Mekhi Becton. Why would we need to draft another tackle at second overall? Is Mekhi Becton bad? No. He is 100% a future pro bowler, potential all pro talent. We do not need a left tackle. That's first of all. Second of all, it's very popular to see a Panay Sewell go number two when the person wants to have Sam Darnold stay in New York. I'll describe why Sam Donald is broken in another video, but Penesul is a natural left tackle, and we already have a natural left tackle that we drafted 11th, and he's super good. He's super good. I don't know why we need another one. Another one of the popular arguments with Penesul is that oh, we'd have bookend tackles for the next 10 years. <clears throat> Well, if you've been reading up on the Orlando Brown story, which is he is a right tackle from the Baltimore Ravens. When Ronnie Staley went out this year, they moved him to left tackle. Ever since he got a taste of left tackle, he's requested a trade. He he wants to play left tackle. And if you're going to draft a second overall pick left tackle, move him to right tackle and potentially have him gone in four years looking for a massive contract at left tackle to solidify his actual potential and what he should have been drafted for. I mean, why even go there at number two? Another argument is just, oh, move Mekhi Becton to right tackle. Why do that? Mekhi Becton is an actual proven left tackle. He had a super good year last year, and you're going to move an unproven left tackle to, to left tackle out the gate and another argument against Sewell and I don't like I love Sewell I think he's gonna be an amazing talent but she just doesn't fit on this team is that he potentially isn't even the best tackle in this class if you look at Jeremiah's t um he released a 3.0 today he's not even his top tackle he's not even in the top 10 of his top 50 players and I'll, I'll look, pull it up on the screen right now so, you got Rashawn Slater at a Northwestern, who, if you saw him play against Chase Young last year, absolutely neutralized him. He also is more flexible because he has guard flexibility and right tackle flexibility, or flexibility because he played the position before. <sighs> so, if you wanted to pick tackle or guard, which is both of their not natural positions, why pick... Penny Sewell instead of taking a guard like Wyatt Davis or a guard like uh, Jonte Brown in the third round. In conclusion, it is really just a Madden move because in Madden you can move a left tackle to right tackle and there would be no effect. But are you really going to draft the number two overall pick to draft a right tackle? And here's a conversation about a right tackle. It is a easier position other than if you're playing with a lefty quarterback like Tua, which is what Jedrick Wills played. He played blindside protector at Alabama. And Zach Wilson or Sam Donald or whichever could you be we could draft or sign are all righties. So Mekhi Becton would be that blindside protector. And if you're going to draft a right tackle, which is a less glorified left tackle, which is an easier position to play, and or... Panay Sewell wants to get out after four years because he wants to play at left tackle or he wants to get a big paycheck. Spending the number two overall pick on him would be a fantasy move, really. Disclaimer, this is no hay on Panay Sewell. I actually think he has a lot of potential, but I think he should go to a place like the Bengals because the Bengals really need help on offensive line.